best talk about the one step binomial tree. So here we have the formulas and let's explain what each variable means. First of all, f is the current value at time zero of the option. Okay, so option current value. P is the probability, which I'll explain on the next slide into more detail. Fu is the option value at u, which I'll explain. Fd is the same, but at d. And then Rf is the risk-free rate. Right. Looking at the other formula to calculate the probability, which we just said, again, we have one plus the risk-free rate minus D over U minus D. Now U here is the magnitude of an up jump and D is a magnitude of a down jump. Okay, so let's look with an example what all this means. The example reads, suppose that there are only two possible future states of the world. In one state, a company's share price will rise by 40% from its current level, and in the second state, it will drop by 25%. The current share price is £100. The exercise price of a European call option, this is important, written on this share is £110 and the risk-free rate is 4%. Calculate the current value of the call option using a one-period binomial option pricing model. Okay, so here we have on the side, on the right-hand side, both our formulas. So let's draw the binomial tree. We start at a hundred, £100. This is the current share price. And below, we will write the current value of the option, which for now we don't know. So we call that F. Then the binomial tree can go up or it can go down. Now remember, we said U is the magnitude of an up jump. In this case, it says that in one state, a company's share price will rise by 40%. Therefore, we do one plus 40% in decimal places, which is 0.4. So U is 1.4. D, remember we said, is the magnitude of a down jump. So in the question it says, in the second state, it will drop by 25%. Therefore, 1 minus 0 0.25, which is equal to 0 0.75. Okay. In order to find out the share price when it's gone up, we do 100 pounds, the initial value, times u, which in this case is going to be 140 pounds. We do the same when the share price goes down. So we do 100 times 0 0.75, which is d, and this gives us 75 pounds. Okay. And again, below here, we write the option prices at those states. So fu would be the option price once the share price has gone up and FD the option price when the share price has gone down. Okay. Now let's write down what we know. We know U and D. We know that the risk free rate is 4%. And therefore we can calculate the probability. The probability would be the probability of uh, the share price going up and then 1 minus P is the probability of the share price going down. So let's calculate P. P from this formula we know is going to be equal to 1 plus the risk-free rate in decimal places. So 1 plus 0 0.04 minus D 
which we know is 0 0.75 over u, which is 1.4 minus 0 0.75. If we plug this into the calculator, we will get that p is 0 0.446. Therefore, we know that the probability of the share price going up is 0 0.446. And 1 minus p is equal to 0 0.446. Five, five, four. Okay. Next thing to do is to calculate the option prices when it's gone up and when it's gone down. So in this case, what we have to do is we have to subtract the exercise price, so the share price minus the exercise price. Now remember, the crucial thing to understand here is that we're dealing with a call option. Remember, the definition of a call option is that it gives you the right, not the obligation, to uh, exercise that option. Therefore, because it's a call option, the investor will make money when the share price goes up. Therefore, the investor will only exercise the option if the share price is higher than the exercise price. In this case, the exercise price is 110 and the share price is 140. Therefore, he is making 30 pounds on these two. Very good. Now, if we look at FD, the story is different. We know the share price is 110. However, the share price, the exercise price, sorry, is 110. However, the share price has gone down to 75. Therefore, the option is basically worthless, right? Because if the share price is below the exercise price, no investor would ever exercise the option because he would be losing money. Therefore, in this case, it's worthless, zero. Now that we have all this information, we can find out the current value of the option. So F, which is a function of the value when it goes up and when it goes down. For this, we use the formula that we looked at before. Therefore, F is equal to the probability, which we said was 0 0.446, times FU, which is 30, plus 1 minus P, which is 0 0.554, times 0 over 1 plus the risk-free rate, which is 1.04. Now we know anything times zero is zero, therefore we can forget about this. And to simplify the equation, we're left with the probability times fu over 1.04, which is equal to 12.87 if we round to two decimal places. Therefore we know f is 12.87. So this is the current value of the call option. Excellent. Now let's move on to this exercise, which is exactly the same thing. However, in this case, we're dealing with a put option. Now, this is purely for illustration purposes to understand how the binomial tree and the option pricing works. Now a put option compared to a call option is when you make money when the share price goes down. Okay, therefore, this is exactly the same as before. I'm just writing down the share prices. However, here the option prices are going to change. Okay. In order to calculate the option prices here, we have to think. In the first state, the share price is 140 pounds, and we said the exercise price is 110. However, because this is a put option, the investor would be losing money. Okay, it is in the investor's interest that the share price goes down. Okay, therefore, in this case, because the share price is higher than the exercise price, the option wouldn't be exercised. Therefore, it's worthless. In the second state, because the share price is lower than the exercise price, the investor would indeed be making money. 
he would be making precisely 110 minus the 75. So the exercise price minus the share price, which is equal to 35. Okay, so this is what the option at FD is worth, 35 pounds. And now we can go back again and calculate the current value of the put option. Okay, for this we use the same exact formula as before. Therefore, F is equal to the probability times FU, which in this case is 0, plus 0 0.554 times FD, which we now said is 35, over 1 plus the risk-free rate. Again, anything times 0 is 0. Therefore, we can forget about this part. And if we simplify, we're left with 1.554 times 35 over 1.04, which is equal to 18.64. Therefore, this is the value, the current value of the put option, not the call option. Very good.